Hi there and welcome to uh, another update to my little project trying to play Fallout 3 and as pacifistic a manner as possible. I'm currently in uh, Vault um, 87 in the test labs of Vault 87. I'm looking for the Garden of Eden creation kit. Is for fools. Trying to make Supposedly this legendary artifact can make life more livable in the wasteland. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I have killed a lot of super mutants in this vault. Uh, I've evaded some of them, a number of them as well. And there is one down there, whom I've been able to sneak around. Um, but the thing is... I, I haven't really had a quest marker uh, until now, and you know, running around the vaults, uh, chased by all the super mutants, and trying to look everywhere, looking for clues to the Gek. At the same time, that's yeah, that's just too much of a pain. So, and, and uh, some many of these corridors are so cramped, and those there's like two people, two. Mutants blocking my way. There's just. It's either just having them chase me for the next 10 minutes, shooting at me, or, or taking them out first. But no sooner have I uh, kind of gotten used to killing off those uh, super mutants who all just want to come after me anyway, and then I run across this guy. It is foolish! He's shouting and screaming a lot because he can't see me, but he's not... He's not hostile. You can see uh, his marker is green and I can actually talk to him through the intercom. Is there something amiss? The door still seems to be sealed. Looks like the other suit mutants have actually trapped this guy in a cell. Um, apparently because he's different from them. He's he does seem biologically different, smarter. So maybe you can remind me how, how to get you out of that room. At the end of the hallway, to your right, is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, wait, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. Right. It is my hope that we will speak again soon. So, well... Sup well, this super mutant at least is, is friendly and... not as aggressive. Uh, yeah, another thing that was interesting here was that I, I read up on, um, apparently they've been experimenting on people creating sort of monsters in here, so I, I, like the cancer in that room, and uh, so I got to read up on sort of how they you started out as, as, as people, and then they just got very aggressive and angry, and their just mental state has just been completely messed up by the stuff that's happened to them, a really extremely... Extremely sad creatures, these uh, mutants. Here's one who doesn't seem very mutated yet, though. Um, so, I've definitely decided I'm gonna... Uh, do what... Uh, what's his name? Fox wants me to, and... Uh, release him from his cell, even though he could, of course, back decide to backstab me. Um. I've got some Wrecking Armor, which should make me even better at snaking. Um, of course, the maintenance Check room would place. be... Half placed. Make human very sick. Not good to eat. Board, board, board. Right.
made. These Sibutans apparently eat humans, that's the thing about them. Of course, that maintenance area would be guarded, wouldn't it? I think the console was over there. There's definitely Super Mutants guarding it, though. Also, uh, activating the failsafe means all of these rooms are going to go open. Okay. There's one. I get a feeling there's another one. Yeah, there's one in there as well. Two of them. I'd never be able to snake past both of them. Fortunately, there are certain oh crap, certain advantages to the um, Oblivion system. Like you can hack a terminal while people are shooting at you, and while you do that, they can't shoot at you. <laughs> um, so let's try and hack this one. Okay, it kind of has to be repressed because the E. In rep corresponds to the in dead. The can't see what else it is rather than repressed. Ah, oh, finally. So please wait while systems access. Uh, if I'm not incorrect, I think um, Ooh. I should have checked this. I think the friendly guy was actually in room number five. I don't really want to open up for all those other monsters to come out of the, their rooms as well. I th or was it room three? Take a chance, open both of those, then leg it like crazy. Yeah, oh, that's that guy's room actually. Okay, uh, oh, look at the map. Here he is. Been opened. Let's Finally. talk. Freedom! You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Because he promised to actually. I'm just getting warmed up. Get me the geck, actually. Your time just oh, well, <laughs> he d he's not very pacifistic. That's for sure. Okay, now everyone's attacking him. Um. Whoa! That guy's going for me now. Probably be attacking Fox Nest next. Let's try and hide in the corner here. Sadly though, what about Fox? Is he gonna get himself killed? Oh, he's got a lot of health! Look at that! They're like gunning at him! Whoa! All the time, and he's like... Oh, this place is irradiated. Don't want to play in there. Oh, let's always steal some ammo where we can. Well, I'm sneaking, but he's not. Well, there's no point either, because they've obviously seen us. Whoa! <laughs> now I release you! Released you, did you? You released him, you killed him, is what you did. <laughs> oh, I can imagine even someone... Even a human being locked up in there for a long time would go a little bit nuts. And want to get back at them, I suppose. 
Hey, folks. What did you need? Well, so tell me a little bit about yourself, would you? I was born here in this place. I don't mean that in the literal sense, of course. Oh? All I can remember is the excruciating pain that tore through me as my body underwent the rapid physical changes. For most, this moment is what severs the grip on their minds. They become barely a shell of their former selves. I was different. When I spoke to them, they immediately branded me another failure and had me placed here as a curiosity. Oh. So you've been stuck in that cell ever since? Yes. I've never been anywhere else. I used to mark the passage of time, but after a few years, it didn't seem to matter anymore. The only thing that prevented me from going insane was the working access point to the vault mainframe in my makeshift cell. Right. So do you remember who you were? I don't remember enough to tell you everything about my former self. My metamorphosis destroyed a good deal of my long-term memory. Oh, sad you. However, I can recall being in this place. When it wasn't the macabre laboratory it has become. I remember walking around this place and seeing other humans in white lab coats and blue jumpsuits. Oh, I wish I could find out more, but the personnel information for the vault wasn't in the mainframe for some reason. I feel like my identity is so close to me. Ah, I can almost see myself as a human, but... Can't recollect the details. Oh, it's maddening. You have quite an unusual name, I got to admit, Fox. It was taken from a historical entry in the computer. The name comes from a man who was willing to fight and die for what he believed in. Oh, Guy Fox. I felt it was. Appropriate. So you don't given my circumstance. Don't remember your original name then, do you? Poor poor man. Asking about how he became articulate seems a silly question. He probably always was. Although I, I would like your sort of thoughts on why you are so articulate and everyone else isn't, but the terminal in my cell used to connect with Vault 87's mainframe. Oh, oh, that gave me access to the history, literature, science, and fiction book files. I used this extensive database of works to better myself and my understanding of everything around me. It was only recently the others caught me using the terminal and destroyed it to torment me! <laughs> they are not very nice, I'll give you that, but... They certainly seem to have some level of intelligence, no doubt about that. Do you, uh, uh, yeah, so, how do you know the layout of this place, though? That's not in the terminal, or is it? These, these hallways are familiar to me. I, I think I used to be a resident here in better times. Right, that's memory. I wish I could remember more, but I'm afraid it's all a blur. As for the Gek, it's always rested where it does now. The foolish super mutants don't even know what they have. Oh. So they're not actively trying to prevent people from getting it. They just don't know what it is even. Oh. Well, let's continue, I suppose. Very well. Alright. Well, we should both go now. This place! So familiar. I prefer to sneak, and Fox is not sneaking, that's for sure. He's walking. Somehow I remembered his name as Walker. <laughs> Probably because of that, it's actually Fox. Oh, more super mutants. And he's going in. I was going to say guns blazing, but it's more mace swinging. They're firing. He's pretty tough, though. Yeah, it's like they're not even scratching him, actually. Yeah. 
Oh, we'll leave him to it when I want to. I don't feel the need to get more. to kill more creatures than necessary. Are you sure we could just. No! Hey, Fox. What did you need? Look, so where did you. Couldn't we just leave these guys alone? What? Oh, that bridge is actually already dead. Are you were merciful? Alright, well that's your excuse, is it? Being merciful. Better for these people to die than continue their tormented existence. My excuse is I had to, and it's for the good of everybody else. And sometimes it's just too hard to search for something and at the same time run around being chased by a whole horde of super mutants. This is where we came in, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Oh, more super mutants. Fox is certainly making short work of them, he's not, well, he sees himself as being merciful. Pacifistic he's not being, but I can't really take their high ground, I killed a bunch of super mutants myself. You're outnumbered there, Fox, but... For now, those super mutants aren't even attacking me, it feels like. To attack him. <laughs> yeah, that's why I keep beating him when he's down, is it? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm gonna re recant my statement that he's not being aggressive. <laughs> Just not aggressive to humans. Well, on the other hand, they always stop. Open up fire shooting at him so he bangs him with that big club thing he's got. Your death is my victory. Well, He's the nicest super mutant we've met, uh, but mostly because he kills other super mutants. And he's going to help us out. Well, that's the most important thing. He's going to actually. He's smarter than them, I guess, understands about the kick and stuff. Talk to you about trying to get past these guys that killing them. Gek lies ahead. Well, he's gonna get the Gek for me, I suppose, and then because uh, I can't see any more. The uh, thing is, I could get the Gek myself, but uh, according to okay. Fox, you stay here beyond this door. The hallways and chambers. I'm flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. I know my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Right. If I go try to go in here. Yep. Lots of radiation in there. As a super mutant, though, I guess he's sort of more immune to radiation. Doesn't get hurt as much by it anyway. I'll pick up some dots while oh, he's getting the gek. Uh, 
hope he's not going to run away with it, but I can't see any exits from that area, and I can't go in there without getting irra getting radiated to death, so... Kind of have to trust him, I think. Here's the Gek! Our As promised, yeah. Here's the Gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again. So. so all right. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to have a. Uh, a super mutant along, even if he's kind of friendly uh, to humans, he's also kind of aggressive, and he does rather spoil my sneaking act. And I th yeah, so well, that's where we've got the Gek, and uh, now I have to try and get out of here. Just you know, I thought it was interesting with a bit more info on the uh, super mutants that some of them actually, or at least one of them, actually isn't quite as nuts as the others. Uh, so it's it's a shame to have to kill them. I'm gonna try and and evade them when I can. I have tried to do that here as well, but I mean, the thing is, if I'd known, if I were playing this for the second time around, I could probably have gotten as far as the fox without killing anyone, because then I would have known where to go. But I've been looking around everywhere, you know, looking for clues for the Gek. I mean, it's time to to end the video. It was just supposed to be a little update video anyway. Wait, but tell you how I'm doing right now, and. Uh, We'll see if I'll post another video once uh, more stuff is, is uh, more interesting stuff for my pacifist is happening. Uh, until then, uh, go in peace and uh, uh, live and let live.